What's good, YouTube? It's your boy FB Aftermath back with another video. I feel like I'm gonna start doing more videos like this where I'm just kind of sitting in my office talking to you guys about, you know, personal things that I think is very important to think about when you're doing social media and things that I've been through to tell you guys. Now, just the, and this is why I'm making this video. Just today, someone came up to me, you're a fan of my work, fan of my YouTube, you know, and no disrespect to them, um, but they were like, oh man, I've been watching you since the Goku Flex days. And, you know, he was like, you know, after I found out about you, you know, I said, you know, I said, forget that guy. You know, I, he stopped watching uh, Goku Flex. Meanwhile, um, you had been watching him just fine prior to me even being presented to his channel and things like that. And I just felt like it's crazy how, especially men, you know, because I was just talking to my girlfriend about this, especially men. We just look for, well, not we, was a lot of you, I don't, um, just look for the biggest and the best. And all your focus mainly is on, you know, that one person. And it's funny because the same thing happened, just like as he did with Goku Flex, the same thing happened with me and Larry Wills. Now, when I collab with Larry, you know, a lot of people would see my uploads and would be like, forget that guy, like, we got Larry now, he's bigger, stronger, and, you know, I've tried to fight for my life, claiming, like, being natural and things like that, and honestly, like, I'm starting to see, like, being a social media influencer since, like, 2014, shit like that does not matter. Having a personality, like, you want to have a, you try to have a personality, you try to um, be entertaining, and then all of it's just canceled out because, at the end of the day, people just want to see the richest, the biggest, the leanest. And that's kind of a very toxic, this is why I like social media, like the fitness industry is just so toxic because you can't even really be like yourself without having to look at the people that everybody's so interested in, excuse me, and then being like, damn, like, do I have to go that route in order to make my business business God dang it, why am I burping so much uh, to make my business successful or what I do successful? And, you know, I've throughout my whole entire, like, um, and throughout my whole entire career with doing this, like, I've tried to stand out doing athletic stuff with strength stuff. And then, you know, maybe still have some abs look good, a little bit lean and be entertaining, you know, sing a little bit, rap a little bit, be funny, um, just everything. I've just tried to do be everything because that's me. That's my personality. I like to do everything. People kind of get confused when they see Tehran doing something different and thinking, oh, he's trying hard. Like, no, I live my life to do as much as I can, learn as much as I can, become as much as I can. So I like to come out and people just see me like, like, dang, where'd you learn to do that? Dang, where'd you learn to do that? How can you do that? I, you know how many times I, that come through to the gym and people be like, dang, what do you do? Like, how are you so big? How are you so strong? You can do this, that, and the third. Those are the things that I like to hear. You know, that's the type of recognition I, you know, aim for. Because a lot of people are strong nowadays. A lot of people are lean and shredded. And, you know, everybody's on whatever, you know, to get there. And it seems to not even, it doesn't even matter anymore, to be real. And I hate to say that because I know there's, like, influencers out there that really want to stay natural, you know, and really just kind of grind through and do the best they can. And it's a hard game. It's a very hard game. Because at the end of the day, like, yes, yes, there's people that care. There's people that you can still reach and still keep from doing certain things, you know, especially at a young age. But at the end of the day, for those who come into this industry, like trying to use it as an advantage, like, nah, like nobody cares, you know, because they're going to they're going to think about you. They're going to think that you do it anyways. And you're just like a fake nanny. Or, you know, they're going to be like, okay, cool. But we're going to look at, you're not on the level of these guys regardless. And you look crazy, natural, but you're not on the level of these guys. So, therefore, I don't care what you guys say. I'm going to follow and support these guys because they look sick or they're strong as hell or whatever. So, it's, it's just like the fitness community is just, it's out of whack right now, bro. Especially with TikTok, like, it's out of whack, and I just want to say, like, you can support 
you can support people based off of just you know them like like focus on people and their personalities versus what you know you don't have to be the biggest strongest like leanest person to support somebody you know if you have somebody that you know you've watched forever and they've done something for you in your life and then somebody else that looks better or stronger or leaner or whatever comes around and you just you just cut off that person that has done more for you than the next person you know that you just found out about i just feel like that's that's kind of wrong you know and I'm not telling you where to dedicate your time or anything. You can do whatever the hell you want with your time. I'm just trying to change a certain mindset as far as, um, you know, what have you gained from somebody, you know, versus what you have visually seen and, you know, think you can possibly gain but haven't yet. You haven't gained it yet. You just physically come around and saw it and you're like, oh, shit. And now your attention is taken away from, you know, with the person that actually did a lot for you or has has changed a lot for you with your mentality, with training, with life, with a lot of things. So I think it's just a lot more about building connection. You know, I think that's one thing that we're really losing with social media. Um, the connections with people have really like faded away. And I know a lot of social media people nowadays, it's like I know back then when I was coming up. It was all about monetizing, monetizing your content, monetizing, blah, blah, blah. Like, I remember, like, being worried, bro. I remember about being worried to even have ads on my YouTube videos because I didn't want to be a sellout. You know what I'm saying? And, like, it took me a while to even start ads on YouTube, you know, because that was, like, the first type of monetization uh, for me uh, outside of, like, trying to get clients. Of course, I made my videos and things, and I was trying to get clients out of it to train online or but that's like it's a bit it's a you know 50 50 it's a benefit like you know i get paid you i train you you know things like that it's not like i'm just expecting everything because i feel like i felt like youtube ads is like all right i made this video for you guys you gotta suffer through this ad to watch my stuff and at that time it felt unfair because it's like dang you know like these people came to watch my videos not these ads and you know so it was just a weird feeling Nowadays, everybody's trying to monetize. They're even like monetizing. Like I even tried it for like a week and I canceled it because like I didn't feel comfortable doing it. But like the cameo, it's like make um make like you'll they'll pay you you'll pay people to make like a message, you know, or like happy birthday or something like that. Like I just felt like if I wanted to really do that, I would do it. If I didn't feel like it, I won't. And I felt like getting paid for it. It was like I don't know. It seemed kind of greedy to me and. Even with me being with supplement companies or brands, like I'm still trying to circle in how to promote without feeling like I'm just pushing stuff to on you guys. Because the things I promote, I really like, regardless if people don't buy it or not. Like I actually like the products, and you know I've come through phases of certain products, the brands that I've been with. But you know I'm not a salesperson. All I know is like, hey, I take this if you want to try it go ahead and try it out other than that like i don't know what to tell you and this is a message to brands like entrepreneur yeah like yeah you have those people that just have those crazy cult fan bases i don't have a crazy cult fan base if, if i did my videos wouldn't you know be where they're at now but you know i just make it just because it's like i still like doing it and i'm just trying my best but like i'm not a salesperson you know i i can't sit here and force a hundred thousand people to go buy something you know in the next one to two days for your company you know and i don't know where any lack of trust has happened with my like fan base over the over the years um but i i don't know what to tell you you know what i'm saying like i can't force people to buy shit like i send them I, I i see people go to the websites but i can't force them to you know and that's that's for brands to hear for any other athletes that they have like if they make good content for you great but it's like, you can't really, like being an influencer, like, yeah, you influence people, but you can't like influence everybody to buy some shit. So that's just that. I just want to get that out the way. But back to the matter at hand, um, for fitness people, man, it's like you're trying to come into this industry. You're trying to build your fan base and you want to get the most out of it. One thing I can say is do what you I, I, it I, I, take this with a grain of salt do what you want to do like do what you want to do for you can be doing forever you know start with that right because 
the thing about it is, is, and, and stick with that. And, and honestly, a lot of people like myself that try to do so much, people can't keep up with that. Teron, you're doing this. Teron, you're doing that. Teron, like, I can't do what I want, you know? because I'm so known for fitness that even if, 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 if I'm not, so there's fitness and then there's like bodybuilding, there's powerlifting, there's athletes, the athletes, the athletes circle, very small, very small. The athlete circle is mainly for coaches and it's hard for me to be in the athlete circle because it's so small. Like there are certain things that I know, but I am not on like a scientific basis type of training. Um, like, like, in depth, a very in depth type of training with athletic, and that's very important nowadays. Um, and then there's bodybuilding. I train bodybuilding. I have a great physique, but I'm not a hardcore bodybuilder. Same thing with powerlifting. You know, I'm strong. It's very a lot lot easier for me to be, get into powerlifting full time, but it's not something like I just feel that I can dedicate fully to because. You know, like I like being strong, but it's just different when I have to prep a certain way, and, and I don't I don't care to be the strongest person out here. You know, I just care to be the most superhuman, balanced athlete. Period. Like you can do this, but you can't do that. I can do both. Like I can do both. You can only do one thing, or I can do all five of these, and you can only do two. You know, like that's the type of mindset I have. I can do all this at a very high, like level you know you might do this at a at a at a level higher like a step level higher than me but i can do all of these on a higher level than you know that's the type of mindset i have when it comes to training versus everybody they want you to be like the number one like they want you to be a c bump of everything you know like you got to be the number one classic physique you got to be the number one powerlifting and even with the number one powerlifter like the number one powerlifter is is crazy because i'll see certain powerlifters they're strong but when you think of like, I don't know, I forgot who the number one path lifter is. But you see, it's like a social media, it's like, he's not on the same level as other people that are not as strong as him. So it's kind of like, it's, the social media is just kind of confusing because you don't know what's going to take off. You don't know, you know, you, you just kind of have to, how do I put this? You don't know what's going to like take off for you. You can be the best, you know, period. And it's just like the crowd moves in like weird ways, you know? And another thing I want to add is like, like I went viral for, this is, this is, this is something I had to go through. I went viral for like a video that has nothing to do with fitness. Now, all of a sudden I have people that like this type of video, you know, following me on my page. And it was like a bacon dance video and it was a lot of Muslims and they were like making fun of me for like eating bacon. Cause you know, they don't eat bacon and, but they were, you know, they're following me. There are a lot of comments. It went really good. I went viral for. It. I had to delete that video because um, it was getting like super toxic, and I feel like that messed up my algorithm because now I go back to my regular content, which doesn't go viral. No, it has never went, went viral like that. They do. They they used to do like really good, but like like that video, like nah, that got like like tw like twelve million views. Like it was crazy, um, and it's just like you have to be careful with what you put out there because if you go viral for something that has nothing to do with what your content is, it, it's going to kind of suck. It's, like, I, I've been told to start over, to be honest, and I've already built up, you know, almost half a million followers, and I've already been told to, like, hey, you might need to restart because that just told the algorithm, it's like, hey, you need to make more content like this to keep people on our app. And I don't want to do that, you know? Like, it was a funny little video just I just made out of the blue. And it's crazy. It's like those those videos that you just make out of the blue that everybody's just, like, just, you you didn't, I didn't take any, much of any time making that video. And yet the things that I actually put dedication and time to are just, like, flops. But that one time where I'm just, like, bullshitting, it's just like, damn, like, really? Like, this really actually happens. Because I know a lot of people talk about, you know, like, you know, the content that I just make bullshit, it just, like, blows up. And it's all about relevance. You know, people want to like be, want to have some type of connection with the content that you have. And I guess for that video, a lot of Muslims, you know, had a somewhat of a connection, but in an opposite way. You know, they thought it was funny, but yet they know they don't eat bacon. So it was all about like this man, I forgot what they were saying. I was like, man, 
this man doesn't know Allah or something, something like that. I don't know. But, uh, or it's, that's not haram or something like that. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so these are just some things I kind of want to talk to you guys about. Um, I don't really know the full on title. I just kind of went on a rant. So I hope you just listened, <laughs> but I'll try to be more, stick with more of a uh, question base. I want to kind of do some Hodge twin shit, to be real. I just kind of want to be funny a little bit and talk, uh, get real talk though. Um, but yeah, like and subscribe to the channel. More videos like this. Comment down below what type of questions or email me, man. Actually, email me, man. Uh, Tehran2311. Like what type of questions you guys have, you know, or DM me on Instagram. DM me on Instagram what type of questions you, you know, want me to answer on another video like this. All right, y'all. Peace out.